Here's our winning recipe from this year's Betty Crocker Cook-Off, Bicentennial Casserole by Emma Sands from Masontown, Pennsylvania. As always, the first step is to clear your work area and have all utensils close at hand. First I start with a large clean mixing bowl, to which I add 4 ounces of shredded wheat and 6 ounces of dark Jamaican rum. Mix thoroughly and feel free to add more rum if the mixture is at all crumbly or dry. I found that Americans spend so much money on kitchen utensils when the best utensils you have are found right at the ends of your very own arms. Don't waste any. Your family will want every morsel. In a 9 inch square pan, line the bottom with the mixture. Be sure to cover the entire area of the bottom of the pan to ensure uniform doneness. Again, adding more rum is usually called for after the wheat soaks up some of the mixture. Now for the meat. I like to splurge on filet but any meat you may have left over in your refrigerator will do. Line the bottom of the pan with your meat. Next, take half a loaf of French or Italian bread and hammer it until it stands up on its side. Then slice it into quarters and place it in the pan along with your meat. My policy on seasoning is that the best seasonings we have, your everyday salt and pepper, are underrated and not used enough. Use your own judgment. The next two ingredients I've prepared in advance. To two cups of cooked rice, add my special sauce which is quickly and easily prepared from two cups of buttermilk, one cup of flour, and three ounces of honey, beaten until pasty. Stir briskly with a wire whisk. Don't waste any of that sauce. Pour into pan, making sure it is evenly distributed. Sprinkle a few drops of rum over the mixture. Next, burnt sienna is added for coloring. Now it's almost ready to be popped into the oven. But first, this added touch. Get two breadsticks, and next find two American flags. If you can't get them in your local five and dime, you can make your own as I prefer to do. Now attach these to your breadsticks, and place them in your oven-ready casserole. Of course, if you have more than two children, you can always add more flags. Also, pencils or straws can be substitutes for breadsticks in a pinch. A quick, tasty treat for the whole family. Place in a preheated 550 degree oven for 90 minutes or until flags are lightly browned. And here it is. Mrs. Sands Bicentennial Casserole. For this and other recipes, write to Recipes, Box 252, Grand Central Station, 